Good morning, my name is Damien. Welcome to my kitchen in the north of Italy for a coffee at home. Now today's coffee at home is going to be made with the French press using the Cafe Verniano City line. Now I do like the French press because it's very forgiving. Now by that I mean that often at home we're not able to get the exact grind size or maybe to control the water temperature. But with the French press we can play a little around with the time as our coffee will be steeping inside there for anywhere from three and a half, four and a half or even five minutes. Now what I'll be using today is four minutes. Um, but that's not that's needless to say that you could leave it for more time or less time. The French press itself is, as you would imagine, made in Italy. It was an Italian invention and patented in Italy in 1929, and yet we call it the French press. Now, if you've seen my video on the Napolitano flip trip, that, that actually was invented in France. How bizarre. Now, the city line represents three different flavors and three different towns in Italy. So, starting with Portofino, the beautiful seaside town uh, on the Liguria coast. The type of coffee in this case is quite delicate. In fact, the number two represents the more delicate of the three coffees. Our second one, Cortina, beautiful resort in the mountains of the Dolomites, where the coffee tends to be a little bit stronger, maybe for those wintertime blues, um, a little more body, a little more depth again. And our third, our Melfi, Gorgeous seaside town just south of Naples. Now coming from that area of Italy, you expect the coffee to be very deep, very strong and very bold. So the number there, the number four, represents the deeper, the dark, darker and the stronger of the three coffees. Now for today, I'm going to be using the Portofino and the reason for this is, it's the one that I like. Now when you're using the French press, the recipe of the coffee we're using, of course, will make a difference, not only in terms of the flavour, but also the, the amount of ground coffee. Now today I'm going to be using 60 grams per litre, so therefore 30 grams for my 500 ml of water. So the first thing I want to do is weigh out my 30 grams of coffee. So for this, of course, you're going to need kitchen scales. There you go, 30. And I'm going to give it a grind. So you use a hand grinder, you use a home grinder, or I like to do it the magic way, with the magic finger. Just like that, we have our ground coffee. I'm going to place onto the top our scales, tear it, take a spoon, and 30 grams of coffee. Now if we can, try and use good, clean, fresh water. If this is a problem, try and get hold of a filter, maybe one of those by Brita, which helps to filter the calcium out of your water, making it softer. Remember, often your, your cup of coffee is up to 98, 99% water, so we do want it to be good, clean, fresh water. And start the time. Pouring in at a nice, gentle movement. Maybe try and, even at this stage, try and wet all the grounds of the coffee. If you can't do that, it's not a problem because we will give it a stir beforehand anyway. You'll see a lot of gas coming off the coffee now. Now that gas is carbon dioxide which is released uh, with the hot water. That carbon dioxide in the world of your espresso would of course become your crema. Now give it a stir because otherwise we'll have some of those dry coffee grounds which won't be wet and therefore won't extract. Also creating a bit of movement helps to create turbulence. That turbulence will help to even extract out more flavour. So when I was talking about that forgiveness, this all comes part of it, as we can play a little bit with time, our water temperature, our quantity, um, but also a bit of a movement inside there. You will at this stage find that some of those lighter, bigger grounds float to the top. So I'm going to give it another stir at about two minutes again. Now what does make the French press different to other methods is also the fact that the filter is made out of metal. So what difference does that make? Well the metal mesh will allow particles to pass through, so maybe give you a little more body inside your cup of coffee, but also a lot of the oils will pass through as well. So I will expect a deeper, more intense cup of coffee from a French press as opposed to maybe a lot cleaner should it be made with a paper filter. We're at the time where I want to give it another stir just again. And you'll see a lot of that coffee has formed on the top. There we go. And 
And now the most important ingredient of making a good French press, patience. Just wait. Just let the coffee steep and do its thing. We don't need to do anything else at this stage. I'll just remove it from my scales. And slowly, gently plunge. Now the plunging is not part of the extraction. I'm in no way creating uh, pressure to help the extraction. I'm simply allowing all the coffee to go down to the bottom. And therefore I don't want to be fast because I don't want to move it and allow a lot of fines to pass on through. So a nice, gentle movement. Now from here, we can pour our cup of coffee. So one final trick with your French press, make sure you don't leave the coffee in there as it will continue to extract. So pour it all out. Um, otherwise that cup after five, 10 minutes it will be a lot more bitter. The other thing is, when you do have all the grounds at the bottom, throw them in the garden. They're fantastic for the vegetable garden. Enjoy! Coffee tree!